Before I start taking you through this topic, I want you to think about what do you see in this picture. I am Harshwadan Saman and we are going to talk about gas insulated substation. So what is GIS? It is a compact multi-component assembly enclosed in a metallic housing in which the primary insulating medium is compressed hexafluoride that is SF6 gas. This SF6 gas acts as an insulator between the life parts and the earth metal enclosure. GIS contains the same compartments and components that we see in a normal AIS that is air insulated substation. But the only difference is in the insulating medium. So now why have we moved from AIS to GIS? This is because of the reduction in size by approximately 70% in GIS. Why only SF6 gas? SF6 gas exhibits properties such as it is colorless, odorless, non-toxic, inert gas which means it does not react with any metal. It has excellent arc quenching properties. It works as a good electrical insulator. Fluorine is the most electronegative element which means its atom has the tendency to attract shed electron towards itself. It can easily be converted into liquid form as its condensation point is just minus 40 degrees Celsius, thereby it is easy for transportation. The dielectric strength of SF6 gas is three times than that of air. SF6 gas remains stable up to 500 degrees Celsius and it is five times heavier than air, hence there is no leakage of gas. Apart from the above, we'll look at other points of SF6 in GIS. Since the insulation is directly proportional to the gas density, the desired voltage class is achieved just by increasing or decreasing the gas density. Due to these flexibilities, some manufacturers offer the same equipment for two different voltage class, keeping the weight and size of the instrument same. GIs are available in a voltage range of 11 kV to 1200 kV. So now let us understand the major components of GIs. It consists of circuit breakers, current transformers, voltage transformers, disconnectors, earthing switch and a bus bar. So let me tell you in brief about circuit breakers. Circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch. It is designed to protect the circuit from any damage. Its basic function is to interrupt the current flow during a fault condition which may be caused by an excess current due to an overload or a short circuit. The current interruption is carried out by separating the two contacts. However, the current is still carried through an arc. In GIS, this arc is interrupted and cooled by using SF6 gas. The next important component is the current transformer also called as CT. It is a protective device used for measuring the electric current. That is why it is also known as instrument transform. Similarly, we have voltage transformers also known as potential transformers or just PT. This is used as protective relay, system control and indication of power flow. It is also used for revenue metering. Briefly having understood what is GIS along with its major components, let us look at its applications. GIS is installed in urban areas where availability of space is a constraint. It can also be installed underground or in industrial areas on all offshore oil exploration, wind farms, etc. or for temporary requirements, we have mobile substations where size is a concern. 
Thereby we observe that GIS is used for indoors as well as for outdoor applications. However, AIS is restricted only for outdoor use. So now we'll move on to see the advantages of using GIS. It occupies less space. Because of SF6, this system is non-flammable and non-explosive. Thereby, there is also an ease to install the GIS system. It is easy to maintain, thereby the OPEX is minimum. It is pollution-free, oil-free, easy to transport and less system breakdown. While there are advantages, there are some disadvantages as well. Obviously, the capex is going to be high. SF6 being a major greenhouse gas contributes to global warming. It takes long power outage time, approximately 56 hours. This is double the time required by an AIS system. Having briefed you about GIS, now try to recollect the first slide which showed a green park in it. So have you thought what is the picture all about? Well, let me tell you, it is Roosevelt Park in Anaheim, USA. Now, is there any connection between this park and the GIS system which we went through? Surprised? Yes, actually it is Anaheim's park substation. It is the first underground substation in USA commissioned in 2006. In fact, Along with this underground substation, the neighborhood has gone for underground transmission too. Have you noticed something weird in this picture? There are no people seen around. Are they too underground? I trust you enjoyed this session. Shall be happy to read your comments while you like and share this video.